an 07 Dodge Ram 2500 diesel. Uh, this is another tip -um issue I have here. Uh, I have no trailer lights on the right side. They work fine on the truck, but on the trailer itself, I have no right turn signal. I have no stop light. I believe the running light works okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, take a look at the tip -um and see if that's the issue. Yeah, I took the cover off of the fuse box here. There's a couple clips, one on this side, and there's one here on this side. You just kind of squeeze them this way. Mine's obviously broken on one side, so I only need to undo one on this side here, and the whole thing will flip up. Uh, now at the bottom of this, this is just a bad spot where uh, Dodge mounted these. They're prone to moisture, uh, engine vibrations and such. And they do corrode quite a bit, so you want to take a look and make sure you have no corrosion at the bottom. If you do, you want to clean that up and see if that uh, fixes your issue. Uh, so my point of doing this is, is trying to see if it's the tip -um causing the trailer light issue or it's a wiring issue. Uh, so I have a pin out for this. So the connector for the trailer light is right up top. When you flip it up like this, it's this connector we're looking at, black C3 connector. Uh, so the wires that we're looking for is 18, which is a yellow wire. That's for the left turn. And a light green wire, which is actually a misprint on these pinouts from Chrysler. But your light green is actually your right side. The way they have them lifted or listed is both for the left. So your light green wire is for the right side. So we'll go ahead and test this right at the bottom of the tip -um and see if we got a signal coming out of there. Ignition turned on and the left signal flashing. As you can see, it's working up front and in the back. So the left side, again, is going to be your yellow wire underneath the tip -um. The yellow wire is here and that connects right in here. So I got my test light. And you can see that's flashing with the turn signal. So the left turn signal here is okay, and that's working on us anyways. Uh, and then right next to it is the green wire that we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and probe that one, and then turn our right signal on. It looks like it is working here at the bottom of the tip -um. Uh So tip -um obviously is not the issue here. It's definitely uh, signaling the right turn signal for the trailer but it's just not uh, not in the, on the trailer itself the trailers fine I, I probed the seven way in the back and I have no power there for a turn signal or stoplight uh, but at least this tells me that tip -um is not the problem the green wire is getting the turn signal uh, signal so we'll go ahead and follow this wire along and see where the brake is and see if we can fix it tip -um is not our problem so I got that buttoned up we'll go in the back of the truck here I probe pin 6 on here, uh, which is on the right side here, uh, and I got no power there. So the first thing we want to check is probably the back of this 7-wheel, uh, this make sure the connection is there. So I got the connector unplugged from the behind the 7-way uh, connector for the trailer. I don't see any obvious issues here, there's no corrosions or anything like that. Uh, most likely our problem is going to be in a wire between the the tip -um and here uh, so we'll try we'll try tracing that wire from the tip -um to back here and see what what we come up with power is coming out of the tip -um, but it's not making it to the back on the seven way uh, the trailer connector uh, so the next place we want to check there is a harness right in the wheel well here it's mounted uh, right to the cab a couple ways of getting at it you can remove this fender liner it gives you easy access to it right here or we can go underneath and try to look at it from there. So we'll do that. So if you look at it underneath, right behind the fender liner here on the cab, there's a, there is a harness here, which comes from your tip -um and goes back to the, to the tail lights for the trailer and everything. So we'll look for that green wire here in this harness and we'll probe that and see if we're getting power up to here. I have that harness apart. I don't see any obvious issues. There's no corrosion or anything like that. So I have the ignition turned on and the right turn signal going. The same green wire 
and as you can see we have a good connection up to here coming from the tip for the turn signal and we'll plug this harness in and check the wire behind this harness to make sure the signals coming out of here uh, if the signal is good here then we just got to trace rest of the wire to the back of the truck and see where the issue is so we did discover a problem at this harness we followed the green wire from the the tip -um going into this harness and the fender liner the problem I had was the green wire for the right turn signal and the stop uh, it had power going into this harness but nothing was coming out uh, so I took that that wire out of this harness and cleaned it up a little bit squeezed the ends of it so it would make a little tighter connection um, now if I check the back of this it looks like looks like we have a right turn signal here before I did not coming out of that harness so we'll go ahead and check it in the back make sure we got our uh, signal going all the way to the back and that should fix the problem so now that we've fixed the the connection problem at the harness let's go ahead and check it at our trailer seven-way connector here the one on the right side should be a right turn signal looks like we are in business so that was the issue so now we have uh, we have power